Redskins, per perfect 8 0 record this season. They've not been without challenges, though. They trailed in games against Jenks, Owasso, and Norman North. Union's outscored opponents, though, 365 to 143. The Panthers, meanwhile, only two wins this season. Big underdogs here tonight. Union will receive the opening kickoff. It'll be uh, Avery Alverson and A.K. Wilson deep. As he prepared to get ready to kick off here, Sam Alley puts it for the way. It's a low squib kick along the ground. Picked up at the 25-yard line to the 30, 35. Outside at the 40-yard line comes Union to the 45. And spun down there is Landon Wood. Well, Zach, a little short on the ground kickoff. And that didn't work well for the Panthers as Union has great field position out across the 45-yard line. I like their idea there. Try to keep it away from kept, uh, the uh, the guys back deep. And uh, that's not, a, not a too bad of an option there for the Union Redskins. When uh, Landon gets his hands on it, he's a great punt returner anyway. So that's uh, another great weapon for him to have. Peyton Thompson, the junior starting quarterback uh, for the Redskins. A.B. Alverson, one of the split-ins, along with uh, Lawrence Harris, A.K. Wilson, an Oklahoma State commit. Darius Spoon, the running back. C.J. Moore, another OSU Cowboy commit, the other wide receiver. Waiting for the snap. Union, first and 10 of their 46-yard line. Handoff goes, hit in the backfield, and pulled down for a loss of a couple yards was Darius Boone. Good penetration, nice job there by the uh, defensive side for Putnam City North. I thought Ains the uh, Redskins may come out and just throw right away, but they try to run, run the ball and, and uh, were stopped for nothing there first. Second down and 12, back to pass goes Thompson, throws to the left side, has a man open but overthrows him at the 30-yard line incomplete intended for A.K. Wilson the 5'10", 175 pound senior overthrown it'll be third down and 12 third and 12 for the Redskins I think you, you see I think you just see him going through a play progression here they're just going to try to test some things out they they go deep there but uh, clearly the Panthers were playing off you need their 44 they need to get uh, across midfield and uh, down to the uh, Panthers 44 yard line for a first down Third and 12 for the Redskins on their first series of the evening. Snap, Thompson looks over the middle, throws over the middle, and is caught first down inside the 35-yard line, down to the 33. The big tight end, Lawrence Harris, 6'3", 230-pound senior, Will Taylor, the Mike linebacker, made the tackle, but a big gain on the play, and Union takes over first and 10 now. They're at the Putnam City North 33. In motion goes Wilson. Hands to him, Wilson cuts inside the 30, 25, has a big hold, 20, 15, inside the 10, and down to the eight yard line. D.K. Stevenson saved the touchdown as A.K. Wilson coming out of the backfield, going across, took the handoff from Thompson, and broke down all the way inside the 10. And the Union is going faster, Zach. Yeah, they're moving right down the, down the field there. That was that jet sweep, and we didn't really have time to set up before A.K. was in motion. So they're really getting the ball moving and snap quick. From the seven yard line, first and goal for the Redskins. Handoff goes off the left side, tripped and falling forward, maybe to the line of scrimmage is Gadarius Boone again. They've shut down uh, Union's running game so far pretty well. Chris Barnes, the Roy linebacker, made the tackle for the Panthers. I haven't seen anything like this so far. I don't think Darius has yet warmed up. It's a little chillier tonight, but um, I haven't seen him go, by, go down by a hand tackle all season, so uh, I'm sure he'll warm up here a little bit and just start, start breaking those tackles. Receiver split left and right. In the backfield is Darius Boone, sets up to the right side of the quarterback. Thompson, Thompson throws to the end zone on the left side, has a man open, and it's caught out of bounds, so incomplete. Out of bounds. Oh, oh, oh. C.J. Moore. They're going to give it to him. Oh, now another official comes over. He has his hands up. The other one said no. Let's see what they decide finally. They're, they're, they're talking it over. Yeah, they've indicated it, and then now they're going to have a discussion. The guy closest said incomplete. The guy in the far side here said touchdown. Which is it, fellas? They're going to put the ball there for the for the extra points. So they're going to give it to him. That's a great route there by CJ. Wow. Looked like he was going to run a slant. They call it a slow go. So you give him a slant look and then go to the back corner. Great ball there by Peyton. Put it in the in the in, right in the in outside hands for the touchdown. Well, that was strange. The officials really never give us a L no, no good direction yeah. was there. Now that now a flag is thrown before the extra point is underway. So Union has jumped out to a 6-0 lead, scoring on their very first possession of the game. Took them just a minute and 40 seconds to go down the field for that. And one of their big weapons out on the field now, their outstanding place kicker, Noah Rauschenberg, just a junior, holding all the Union High School kicking records, it seems. He's really something. Rauschenberg gets his foot in there, kicks it up, 
Kicks it through, and it's 7-0 Union. 10-20 left to play in the opening quarter. It's the Redskins, number one in the state of Oklahoma, 7. Pondam City North Panthers, nothing. We'll take a break here on KMG 740 News 1023. Right now, when you open a new checking account at T... Hey, uh, apparently Chris's mic is cutting out. Uh, could we try a re... Take over. First and ten is Zach Jones. The recap of the first scoring drive as uh, Union opens with a seven nothing lead. Well, Chris, that happened pretty quickly. They went 54 yards in six plays, and only taking up a minute and 40 seconds. So that pass was just a seven yard catch for C.J. Moore from Peyton. Quarterback is Aaron Norman for the Panthers. His outstanding receiver is Grant Lighter. They're kind of the two stars who broke Sam Bradford's single game record here. We'll tell you more about that later on. Norman. Takes the handoff, uh, gives to Colton Parker. Colton Parker is, goes around the right side and knocked down right away, maybe yard at that. And now they just say the ball is, is it on the ground? Let's see, We're waiting for an official. Jordan Kelly was had a hold of it. It is, Redskins it sure football, was. all right. Handoff went to Colton Parker. Jordan Kelly put the hit on and was on the football and stuff. So just like that, Union has it back. At the 22 yard line of Putnam City North, first and 10 Redskins already leading 7 0. We haven't even played two minutes yet. Was that Jordan Kelly that made the tackle as well? I mean, no, he just no. gab gobbled him up. Oh, Braden, 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 Spicer. Braden Spicer made the tackle, just gobbled him up, yeah. lost the football, and Jordan Kelly said, That's not my, uh, that, that's, it's almost like the John Madden the Thanksgiving play. He came up with a turkey on that one. <laughs> two receivers split to the right, one to the left. Darius Boone uh, behind to the left of uh, quarterback Peyton Thompson from the 22. Thompson takes the snap, fakes to Boone, throws over the middle, got it at the 10-yard line, at the 5, down inside the 3-yard line. It's a big tight end, Lawrence Harris, first and goal, Redskins. That's the second time they went over the top there, and Harris hasn't caught the ball very much this season, but his hands are sure soft across there on just a tight end dump, and they've, they've obviously caught something on film because he is wide open across the middle. And it's first and goal, Union at the Putnam City North 4-yard line. Redskins seven, Panthers nothing. Clock running and now 9.45 left in this uh, opening quarter. Harrison Henry to the left side. Handoff goes to Darius Boone and Boone is hit immediately. Falls forward, maybe back to the line of scrimmage and that's about it. Nothing there. Well, they're running a 4-3 defense, so three linebackers. They blitz all three linebackers and unfortunately, all three of them were in the backfield when Darius got his hands on the ball. He didn't have anywhere to go on that one. Second down and goal. Lost a yard, actually. They're going to put it at the five-yard line now. Second and goal from the five for Union. Junior quarterback Peyton Thompson looks over to the sideline to Coach Fred and gets his signals. Boone is off to his left. Hands to Boone, sweeps to the right side, at the five, and into the end zone. Touchdown for Darius Boone, and a flag, too. Flag was thrown as he went across the goal line. Avery Alverson uh, is going to be called for a holding for Union. So instead of a touchdown, it'll be a holding penalty and put the Redskins back. That's unfortunate there. Avery does a good job outside blocking. And when you're out there on an island, sometimes you get lost, especially if it's a long developing play. And uh, great job there by Brock Henry. Really set the corner at the tight end. Made, made sure uh, that uh, Darius was able to get the corner. And then Avery just probably got held, uh, held up on the outside there and got caught for grabbing the jersey. So the down will be, remain second, but now it's a second and goal from the five. It's second and goal from the 11-yard line. Second and goal from the 11. Two receivers split left, one to the right side. To the right is Alverson. 
Behind uh, the quarterback Thompson, again, is Darius Boone with his right side. Now he switches over. No, goes back to the right now. From the 11, second down and goal to goal for the Redskins. Looking at the end zone and intercepted. Picked off, and gonna run it out at the, fifth, at the 5, 10, 15, the 20 yard line. Spins to the 25, knocked down at the Putnam City North 27 yard line. It's D.K. Stevenson. That is his third interception of the season for the 5'10", 150 pound junior. And Peyton Thompson threw it right to him. He sure did, and it was a great slant route there. It looked like CJ is gonna be wide open on the slant like he often is. And that uh, DB kind of sat right in there behind the linebackers and just stepped right underneath it. Smaller guy and kind of was hiding in there, I think, a little bit. Putnam City North has been outscored 279 to 150 this season. They uh, average 18 points a game. They only scored eight touchdowns in their last five games, though. And last year when they came to Union, they left with a 72 to nothing beating. So they've not had a lot of success against Union. In fact, uh, Putnam City North has only won once against Union. That was the 2001 state semifinals. Handoff goes off the right side. That is Anthony Duncan, the running back. Gets four or five yards there. Baden Spicer, the linebacker on the tackle for the Redskins. They hit that quick. They're just a quick hitter just to give up on the inside. There's not a big zone or anything. That's more like a dive. They're just getting that thing down and out of their hands fast. Quarterback Aaron Norman sends his running back in motion. Open backfield now. Looks, throws, being rushed. Steps up to the pocket, runs 30, and slides down at the 34-yard line. Pressure from the Redskins. Uh, Nathan Raper there, the linebacker, but... Uh, he went down quickly there. It'll be third down for the Panthers. Not sure. They go empty there. So oftentimes you go empty. You want to uh, maybe isolate a linebacker and see if your guy can, your quarterback can outrun one of the uh, linebackers. And uh, he got back to the line of scrimmage and decided to slide. So I don't think they saw what they wanted to in that one. Aaron Norman waits for the snap. Uh -oh. Third down and five. And flags fly. Uh-oh. Union is going to give them a first down. Offsides against the Redskins. That'll move the chains on third and five. The first down for the Panthers. The football will be at their own 38-yard line. Union leads 7 nothing here. 7.58 left in this opening quarter. Looked like Jordan Kelly was looking for a sack on that one and got caught trying to get out there early. So some penalties have hurt Union early on in this first quarter. Cost him a touchdown. Now cost him a first down. Norman, one, one back behind him to the right side. Turns hands off, gives to uh, Anthony Duncan. Duncan goes to the 40-yard line and pulled down there. Just a gain of a couple yards. Braden Spicer all over him. The 6'1", 220-pound senior linebacker. He's been offered by the Air Force Academy. He is the union's number one tackler on the season. 77 tackles, 50 unassisted tackles, two sacks, and uh, has caused three fumbles. Well, that kid's all over the field. And just like that, they try to run a zone. And before he can get back to the line of scrimmage, Spicer's already tracked him down from the backside. Second down and eight. Norman pumps, trying to get through by a couple of guys. That's going to pull down in the backfield for a loss. Good defensive play there for the Redskins. 93, Isaiah McGuire, the 6'2", 230-pound junior, jumped on and back at the 35-yard line. Loss on the play. It'll be third and 13 now for the Panthers. Yeah, Kenya Walker and Darius Murdoch actually collided at the quarterback, and somehow he snuck out. He went underneath those two and uh, then was sacked by the next guy. So all three of them had a shot at him on that one. So Putnam City North sends two receivers to the right side of the field, one to the left. The running back, Duncan, behind the quarterback. Norman takes the staff, sets up a middle of the screen, dumps it off the 35, 40, 45, first down across midfield. Union territory at the 47-yard line to Anthony Duncan. Finally, Patrick Fields, the free safety, made the tackle. Nice looking middle of the screen, though. That sure was. That's a good setup there. Union's really been bringing some heat back in the backfield. And uh, anything to beat heat like that in, in penetration is let him get behind the line of scrimmage and then just throw a screen behind him. So game a first down on a penalty, and now they convert on third and 13. Duncan, big hole goes off the right side and into the 40-yard line. Gained about seven on that play. Nathan Raper, the linebacker, finally made the tackle. So the Panthers moving the football on Union. Like I said, that's just a quick run. They're not doing anything special, just blocking man on. So Union just got a three-man front. There's a lot of gaps up there. They're just kind of separating a little bit for that run. 7-0 Redskins, six minutes left in the opening quarter. Norman takes it. He gets just across to the 38, 37-yard line. Be just short. Looks like of a first down. Jordan Kelly over there defensively for Union High. And Cade Brown, the outside linebacker. I saw the angle from here. It looked like he fell forward for the first down, but uh, looking over at the line of scrimmage yeah. there, it's a... Uh, Clearly short. Third and two. 
at the 39, need the 37 of Union to keep this drive going here. Nobody back to pass on third and two, dropping way back, flag flies, throws off the right side, it's overthrown incomplete. Patrick Fields back there defensively. Fields at University of Oklahoma commit, 6'1", 185 pound senior. 51 tackles, 23 unassisted. One fumble, one, and scored a touchdown on that. Six pass breakups this season. An eligible receiver downfield is a call against the Panthers. I was watching the football this weekend, Chris, and they were talking about the Big 12's third down conversion play where they got, the, you know, they just stole that out of their playbook here. They run two receivers deep and one man just drags right underneath, right about the line of scrimmage. So as the line of scrimmage progresses into the backfield, they just vacate and leave a line for that uh, outside receiver to run right down the line. And that's exactly what they did. Smartly enough, the Redskins picked it up, so there was nowhere to go. And... Uh, the penalty will uh, be declined. Be declined uh, anyway. I would think so. It's be, yep. That's up a fourth down. I, looks like Putnam City North, despite it being uh, fourth, that is fourth and two. They're going to go for it from the Union 39 yard line. So fourth and two. Fred kept it down, skewed the penalty yardage. Let's see what happens here. Norman, now the flag flies, and they're going to give us five more, I believe. Yep, illegal procedure against Putnam City North instead of fourth and two. It'll be fourth and seven. So it's flag day so far. Oh, I'll tell you, that'll, that'll burn the coach quick. You got wow. the guy they called was the guy on the outside doing motion. So he planted his foot to go upfield. It's going to be a run inside. A absolutely nowhere to do with the play. And that will just irk a coach quickly. Ryan Laverty is the first year head coach of these Putnam City Panthers. Had been at uh, Deer Creek assistant, former head coach at Alba. And his first team, two and six, Putnam City North. Quick kick from Aaron Norman. Took the direct snap. Punted it high, and a fair catch is taken by Landon Wood of Union. It'll be marked down just inside the Redskin 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 Union. When we get back, let's take a break. KMG 740 News 102.3. Diabetes. term life insurance to buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you all you need to go. do is call big lou at 800-285-4954 lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor call 800-285-4954 big lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford remember big lou is like you he's on meds too call 800-285-4954 800-285-4954 54. This is the coming back Union High School football news 1023 KRMG Redskins moving quickly at Putnam City North and two plays have gone from the 19 out to their own 38 yard line AK Wilson just caught a ball and moved it to 38 first and 10 Union back to pass Thompson throws out to the right side caught the 35 40 45 midfield across midfield to the 47 yard line a flag is thrown AK Wilson was on the reception Will Taylor made the tackle but there is a flag and it is holding once again Against Union, boy, they've been hit that a couple times already, Zach. Yeah, that's gonna that one there's critical. That's a 15, 20-yard gain. Ugh. They just uh, it, while you guys were gone, we ran uh, two screen plays or, or quick pop passes to A.K. Wilson, one to the left. He picked up enough for the first down, then ran it to the to the right side and picked up 15 to 20. Uh, unfortunately, that second one's gonna come back. Gonna mark it back to the Union 25-yard line. The down remains first, but now it's first and 23. They'd have to get to the 48-yard line their own for a first down here. Two guys in the backfield, either side of Peyton Thompson, takes the uh, snap, handoff. Uh, A.K. Wilson just goes a couple yards there, across the 25. It'd be second down and long. The Panthers are really firing on that jet sweep. They've seen enough of that on film. They're just flying up outside. There's nowhere for AK to go on that. It's been executed well for the defense. One receiver left, uh, three to the right side. Darius Boone behind Peyton Thompson, the quarterback, takes a snap, straight back to pass, dumps it off to Darius Boone. 25, and can't get away from the man. Goes out to 27, Will Taylor. Nice job there, Mike Linebacker. Made the tackle, held it just two yards. It's going to be third and long now for Union. That's a great tackle there in open field. Darius Boone tried to make a spin move, and again was just brought down by one guy. 
So the Redskins now face third and 21. Remember, they have to get to their own 48 for a first down here. They'll split them out, two receivers to the left, two to the right. Boone in the backfield, just to the left side of quarterback Peyton Thompson. From their 27, hands off up the middle and goes Boone. He'll get it just to the 33-yard line. It'll be a punt time for Union. Good defensive job there. Putnam City North aided, of course, by that 15-yard uh, holding penalty. That moved it right there. Chris Barnes, Will Taylor combined on the tackle for the Panthers, and it'll be Union punting for the first time tonight. Cade Farquhar will be the punter. Well, that's unfortunate. That hold play comes back to bite him, knocks him back 15 yards, puts him at first down and 23, and unfortunately they were unable to recover. Antoine Brown is a single deep return man for the Panthers, standing at his 40-yard line. Rugby style, uh, on the run boot there. Hits at the 35, takes a big union roll, bounce inside the 30, it'll be blown dead about the 26 yard line. So nice orchestrated punt there by Cade Farquhar. And the Panthers will have the football at their own 27 yard line, first and 10, 40 yards on the punt. Good punt there by Farquhar. And you know the thing about that rugby style punt, it looks like they're going to take off and run where it looked like he maybe had the, had the availability if it wasn't 15 yards. But uh, the other thing there is when you kick it like that, it really tends to roll and get a, a nice rolling bounce so it doesn't have to go near as far in the air. 2.42 left opening quarter. Union scoring the opening drive, 7 0. They lead in the backfield. Hit, going to be knocked and thrown down there again as Anthony Duncan tried to go off the right side. Then he broke it back to the left and got swarmed under there. Union says they have the football, but the says, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like uh, Trey Thompson came up with it. They were holding him up there, and they I think it was just about the time they blew the whistle for no progression. Uh, they stripped the ball from him. So, unfortunately there for the Union Redskins, they're not going to come up with that fumble. Jordan Kelly was in on the tackle there along with Nick Jones. No gain, second and 10. Putnam City North, their own 27-yard line, trailing Union, 7-0, two minutes left in the opening quarter. Pass out to the left side of the running back, Duncan. Duncan has to move to 30, cuts inside the 31-yard line. It'll be about five or six yards shy of a first down. It'll be third and about five. J.T. McLeod, the right cornerback. Nice job coming up with the tackle. Defense is getting aggressive. That was a safety blitz. They put fields on a safety blitz, and he was in the backfield. And uh, they just throw out here into the flats and make a great, just safe call and throw in the flats and let him run. Clock running, 140 left, opening quarter. Union leading Putnam City North, 7 0. It is third and six. Rolling out to pass is Norman. Throws on the run, has the man first down 40, 45. Spun out of bounds to the 48 yard line. Nicely executed there. I didn't see it was number 17 on the wherever that. Angelo Bell. Angelo Bell, number 17. He didn't make the one or two, so he <laughs> had to hunt a little bit. But he made the score chart now. He's made it on the stats. And, and a picked up down. the first down and thought. I wonder what they call it out there now. This might be a good time to introduce the officials because they've pretty much hogged this opening quarter. The referee is Darian Foster. Brandon Moreland is the umpire. Darian Vitto is the linesman. Todd Parker, the line judge. And David Foster is the back judge. We've had a busy time with flags in this first quarter. An eligible receiver downfield. Called on Putnam City North. That'll set it back to a third down and 11. The football back at the Panthers' own 26 yard line. We don't see it often. Right now, the Union Redskins have three penalties for 25 yards, and Putnam only has two. Now it takes the snap, pass out of the left flat there, and going to be knocked down right away. Antoine Brown was the receiver of Putnam City North, swarmed under by the Redskins. So it'll be fourth down, then it'll about be a five or six yard shy here. So it'll be punt time again for the Panthers. Well, I like the play call, you know, put it out in space. Run game's not uh, picking up too many yards there. It's a third down, get some conversion opportunity. So they put the hands in the athlete out there, maybe create some space, but Union converged there and, and closed well. Man, they would back to return for Union. He's standing at the own 35 yard line. The punter is Sam Alley, the senior inside his 20. Big rush and they oh just got it away. Wow. Big rush. A lot of pressure from Union. Short kick. Hits at the 50. Bounces back into Putnam City territory all the way back to their 46 yard line and Union set up a great field position. First and 10 at their own 46. 27 seconds left in this opening quarter. That punt for just 13 yards. Let's take a quick break. This is Union High School football on KRMG.
Classic Chevrolet, we are 30 years strong, and we proudly support reverse. all Union athletes and their parents. Union for the reverse at midfield, flag flies, 45-40. The 35 real line spot on the bottom there is A.K. Wilson, but again, a flag was thrown. The Union back as we join you back with 18 seconds left in this opening quarter. The Redskins leading the Panthers, 7-0 here. Guys. And it is holding again. What is that, three? Three of They tried to run a reverse, and A.K. Wilson came around the backside after the reverse. And Peyton Thompson was making a, a good block. Catch every but, moment. Uh, unfortunately, okay, coming back. Jane.com, the KRMG app, and News 1023 KRMG. Go. Back at Putnam City, where the Union Redskins have had another holding penalty, setting him back now to the their own uh, 39 yard line. With 18 seconds left in this opening quarter, they'll now be first and 25 from their own 39. Union leading, Putnam City North, seven to nothing here. Handoff goes to Boone. Boone has some money with the 40, 45. Knocked out of bounds the 48 yard line with 13 seconds left in the quarter. Will Taylor, the Mike linebacker, made the tackle for the Panthers. That's a better run out there by Darius Boone, really kind of getting warmed up. Like I said, he'll get warmed up. He's averaging 6.8 yards a carry, so the first two of the game were negative yards weren't like him. Thompson waiting for the direct snap and into the uh, Union over the line of scrimmage is Juan Mercado, the uh, nose guard for Putnam City North. That'll give the Redskins a free five yards here. I was like the freebies, huh? Yes, sir. So now they're in Putnam City territory at the uh, Panthers 46 yard line. Officials getting ready to wind the clock. The play clock at 22 seconds and counting down. Thompson, two men in the backfield, fakes the handoff, looks to the right side, throws to the middle, wide open, and taken there and knocked away. Incomplete at the 25 yard line. It was Avery Alverson, wide open, took the reception, then got hit immediately and coughed up the football, but uh, did not have possession. We've seen him do that a couple times this season when they run that play, they fake the run, and then Avery does a skinny post. and. Uh, the defense that they're running, they're just running a cover three, but they're playing deep. So right when he needed to set down, that, that safety was right up on top of him and knocked the ball out. Third down and 10 now for the Redskins from the Panther 46-yard line. Need the 36 for the first down. Thompson back to pass, throws, and is caught. First down inside the 30, spins the 25, and down to the 23-yard line is C.J. Moore. Nice reception by the senior. D.K. Stevenson, left quarterback, made the tackle, but it'll be first down as the first quarter comes to an end here with Tulsa Union leading Putnam City North 7 to nothing. We'll take a break here. This is Union Redskin football on KMG 102.3 and AM 740. <laughs> Welcome back on KMG to Union High School Football. The number one ranked undefeated Union Redskins just holding a 7-0 lead after one quarter of football here at Putnam City North. And the Redskins have the football now. First and 10, the Panthers 23-yard line. Snap, Thompson takes it, hands off, goes inside to Boone. Boone makes a nice move inside the 15, down to the 10. He'll have a first and looks like first and 10 at the 11-yard line. Great block there by Quentin Barnes, opening up that hole gigantic. First and 10, the 11-yard line. Thompson takes the snap, hands to Boone. Boone skips away from one guy inside the five, inside the three. Touchdown, Darius Boone. There's Darius Boone. Just a couple of nice moves on the outside. 
Good blocking over there as well, and the Redskins open the second quarter with a touchdown to take a 13-0 lead, extra point to come. Well, that's what we needed in the first quarter. It looked like Darius in the first quarter was maybe just kind of a little bit cold. It hadn't been warmed up, maybe a, a little uh, unfocused coming to this team that they'd really clearly been picked to, to uh, beat. He dodges two guys behind the line of scrimmage there and makes a cut and gets scampers right on the end zone. Great job there by Darius. Extra point is coming now from Noah Rosenberg. Ball is spotted, kick is up, and the kick is good. Rosenberg, who came in uh, to the game by hitting 42 of 44 extra points, and now is 44 of 46. One of the outstanding uh, kickers, just a junior reunion. And the crazy union guys left their shirts on come running on the field. 44 degree weather here. And, of course, I can't say much. My partner is here standing here in shorts next to me. Did you miss the weather forecast? Or? Well, yeah. I, I was walking in, the gal at the, at the gate says, you're going to freeze. And I said, I'm going to the booth. She said, that's not even fair. But yeah, it's a little more chilly than I anticipated it being. But uh, this is one of those games where the big guys think they want to show show their toughness and don't put on sleeves. I say, ah, I'd rather I'd rather be warm. Yeah. I'll put sleeves on. All right, kickoff it was 44 degrees, wind north-northwest at 13 miles per hour. Here's our scoring recap of the second touchdown for Union High School. 67 yards this time, and actually a minute minute quicker than the, the time before. So 40 seconds runs off the clock in six plays, and Darius Boone brings that one in from 11 yards on a great run there by the running back for the Redskins, putting them up 14-0, to zero, and the kick by Noah Rauschenberg is good. Double receivers back for Putnam City North at their five-yard line. Antoine Brown and John Mosher waiting for uh, Rauschenberg's kick here. Rauschenberg kicks it away. Down to the seven-yard line, taken there by Antoine Brown. Brown goes to the 20-yard line and swarmed under just before he got to the 20. Good coverage downfield for the Redskins. That'll be Putnam City North with a football first and 10 at their own 20-yard uh, line as they trail Union 14 to nothing here in the start of the second quarter. Well, I could tell you that the Redskins, I'm sure, came into this game thinking that they wouldn't be, you know, at, uh, at the, the start of the second quarter, only seven points on the board. So I think they've got a little bit of work to do on, them, on their side. Norman with Duncan in the backfield behind him. Hands to Duncan. Duncan comes off the right side tackle and falls forward to the 25, 26-yard line. Uh, Kenya Walker, defensive end. 6'2", 240-pound senior, made the stop for Union, but he picked up five on the play. It'll be second down and five. He's sure running hard, breaking some arm tackles there. Gonna have to wrap this guy up. Big kid, 6'2", 220. This Anthony Duncan to the right side now. Quarterback Aaron Norman. Norman goes back to pass, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Through the hands, the intended receiver there, uh, Jamal Jeffers. They're each back and uh, couldn't hold on to that one, so it'll be a third down, and now still about five to go for the Panthers. Great throwing motion there. Just got rid of the ball quickly, and I think it probably landed in the receiver's hands faster than he anticipated. From the 25, handoff goes to Duncan again. Duncan this time swarmed under the line of scrimmage. Blows forward for a couple of yards. He'll be short of the first down, though. It'll be fourth down, about three, inside their own 30 for Putnam City North. Good job there. That's that same run play that they've been picking up four, five, and six yards on. And uh, there they probably needed only four to get the first down, and the Redskins do a great job of stopping the run and uh, going to have to make a punt here uh, for just fourth and two. They send out their senior punter, Sam Alley, had a 13-yard punt the last time. Landon Wood is standing uh, just inside Union territory, about the 48-yard line, winning with the snap. Not, not much breeze to speak of, real high floating snap, and almost blocked again. Great rush put on by McLeod. Fair catch is called for, surrounded by Panthers. Nicely done. 23 yards on the punt. Well, yeah, that's, that's 10, 13. Yes, yeah, a little better than last time. I tell you what, they when they hike that back there, it's kind of a just an arc moon when it gets back to the punter. I think they'll probably pick one of those off. Avery Alverson's missed two of those punts just a little bit by uh, running past them. And they would did a nice job back there. He was surrounded by Panthers and uh, concentrated, caught the football, fair catch at the 50-yard line. Union football, first and 10, 10, 23 left in the opening half. Redskins hitting 14 to nothing. We have Doc Webb is out on the sidelines, having a chance to get to Doc much. We'll wait for some reports from him when we get a chance. And Doc will have halftime for us as well. Redskins, Peyton Thompson, waiting for the snap. Waiting for direct snap, taking it as a whistle. Legal procedure against Union. 
cost him five. We now first and 15. They'll move it back to the Redskins' own 45-yard line. Back him up five. That's another just mental mental uh, error there. You know, it's a little bit of that focus we talked about. It's a little bit cold, and, you know, they're maybe not quite as focused on this team as what, you know, they normally would see. So now it is first and 15. Union football, their own 45-yard line. Thompson waiting for the snap. High snap, takes it, throws off the right side, and uh, breaking one tackle, going across the 50 is uh, Avery Alverson. Nice pickup on the play. Will Taylor, the Mike linebacker, made the stop. High snap there. Peyton does a good job of getting his hands on it and getting control. Picked up six yards. It'll be now second down and nine from the Putnam City North 49-yard line. Hand off again goes to Boone, starts in the middle, cuts out to the right side, circles around the 45 yard line, thrown out of bounds there by Zach Dorch at about the 43. It'll be third down, about four, three or four yards for a Union first down. Looks like Darius wanted to go to the left. They were pulling Alfonso Gallegas, and uh, really there was nowhere for him to go, so he turned the corner, planted his foot, and got downfield, picked up as many as he could there. 14-0 Union, 9.54 left in this first half. Redskins a third and four from the Putnam City 44-yard line. Need the 40 for the first down as Peyton Thompson looks back over to the sideline. Picks up some signals there. He has uh, Darius Boone to his right. The big tight end, Lawrence Harris, also in the backfield to his left. And now a whistle, and then we're going to have a timeout. Time out of the field taken by Union. Let's take a quick break. This is KMG 740, News 1023, and this is Redskins football leading 14 0 at Putnam City North. Putnam City 44 yard line. After the Redskins first time out of the half, they lead Putnam City North 14 to nothing. Peyton Thompson, with Darius Brown and Boone in the backfield behind him. Turn, hand to Boone, off the left side guard, big hole, 40, 35 yard line. Runs into a man there, falls forward to the 33, still battling forward, breaks the tackle, goes 30 inside the 30, 28 yard line. Will Taylor and DK Stevens had to combine to make the stop, but what a run by Darius Boone all the way inside the 30-yard line of Putnam City and a first down for Union. Doc must have gave him a lift and iced tea because he Ooh. won't go down now. <laughs> now to the 28-yard line, Union first and 10. Again, it is uh, Boone, swift to the right side, slips untackled the backfield, punches across the 25, down to the 23-yard line. He was dead to right to the backfield, spun away from the guy tackler. Gets a good gain, about six yards. Well, that's that, that uh, middle linebacker, Will Taylor, that's made a whole bunch of tackles this evening. Three receivers, no, four receivers to the right, one to the left. Quick pass out there, a lot of blocking in front of uh, the receiver, A.K. Wilson, but he's pulled down inside the, by the 21-yard line. Nice defensive job. Will Taylor broke through about three Redskin blockers to make the tackle. Interesting formation. They, they yeah. put Darius out there and go quads right, one left with C.J. Moore. I'm surprised they didn't just man up over here and throw to C.J. Third down and four to go now for Union. Again, the handoff goes to Boone. Boone around the right side, sweeps. He's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he may have it here. See where they're going to mark him. He's inside the 2018, oh, and has fumbled the ball. And it's going to go to Putnam oh, City North. Darius Boone lost the fumble. Delayed call there. But they ruled it a fumble, and uh, Darius Boone pops the football up. Union lose another scoring opportunity. 
Putnam City will take over first and 10 at their own 16 yard line. Well, I haven't seen that this season uh, at, that I can remember at all. So that may be his first fumble of the season. And it was a great shot out there by the outside. The cornerback came up and made a hit and uh, just coughed up the football. 8.45 to play first quarter. Putnam City Grove has the football at their own 16-yard uh, line. Uh, Anthony Duncan carries it for just a couple of yards for Union Swarms under him. Uh, uh, Elijah Talbot, the outside linebacker, made the initial stop for Union. Only about a yard on the play. Second and nine from their own 17-yard line. The Panthers trailing 14 to nothing here. 8.23 left first half. Back to pass, Owen has a man wide open, has the 45 at midfield, 40, 35, and run out of bounds at the Union 25-yard line. Antoine Brown got behind the Union secondary for a big play there. Antoine Brown on the first down, takes it all the way inside the Redskin 30-yard line. I'm going to say he was out of bounds, in fact, at the Union 30. Yeah, I don't know how he got behind Daylon Figures. They were looking uh, they were looking behind him, and they're going to pick that one up for 53 yards on that reception. So Aaron Norman to Antoine Brown for 53 yards, and the Panthers are suddenly threatening at the Union 30-yard line. They trail 14 to nothing, 8-12 left in the second quarter. Norman back to pass, looks to the right, throws. It's caught inside the 20-yard line. And Grant Leiter, the flanker. 44, Nathan Raper made the tackle. That's a combination of Norman and Lida that broke Sam Bradford's record a few games back here. I'll tell you what, Ra Raper was standing right there on the doorstep waiting to make the tackle, and that's a middle linebacker. If he'd have just taken a step and looked at the quarterback and stepped right underneath that thing, it would have thrown right to him. Now at the 19-yard line, another first down for the Panthers. First and 10, Union 19. Handoff goes to Duncan. Duncan is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Trying to pull forward, maybe got a yard as he falls forward, but that's about it. Good job by the... Redskin defense led by Jordan Kelly, an OU football commit, 6'5", 310-pound senior defensive end. And Kenny Walker on the other side, defensive end, 6'2", 240, combined for the stop. Give him a yard, second and nine, at the Union 18-yard line. Aaron Norman, the quarterback, has the big running back, 6'2", 220-pound senior Anthony Duncan. Goes off to his left side now, three receivers left, one to the right for the Panthers. They look over to the sideline for a signal from Coach Ryan Laverty, their first-year head coach. Waiting for the snap, gets it, hands off the dunk, a big hope to middle, 20. Inside, spins the 16-yard line, going to be close, about three yards shy of the first down. Cade Brown, the outside linebacker, jumped and held on to the big guy, and Duncan, a nice job upside, but it'll be third down and short yardage, third and about three for the Panthers from the 12 of Union. Well, I've been pretty impressed here with Duncan. He's been running really hard, like you said, 6'2". He's probably the biggest running back we faced this year, but he's, he's a tough guy. Needing three on third down from the Redskins' 12-yard line. Norman again checks the play over to the sideline. Has Duncan off to his right. Two receivers to either side. Now Duncan goes out of the backfield, runs to the left, throws over the middle, and is caught. A first down inside the seven-yard line, caught by Jamel Jeffers on a quick pop there. Nice looking play, and that gives him a first down and goal for Putnam City North. Well, they're doing just enough on this drive to move the chains. They're not trying to be get too crazy and a lot of times against Union people will try to go for a touchdown and it seems like they forget how to run the offense and right now they're doing exactly what they need to just moving the chains. First and goal Putnam City North Panthers from the Redskins seven yard line Union leading 14 to nothing. No one back to pass throws over the middle caught at the six yard line and pulled down there is Anthony Duncan hit immediately and dropped good defensive plays there by Union led by uh, Nathan Raper, the 5'11", 220-pound senior linebacker. No gain on the play. It'll be now second and goal from the seven-yard line. Well, again, they just try to get the balls in the, in the playmaker's hands, and they're just an underneath pass to the running back. So typically you call that a screen, and I don't know. I, I wasn't watching the play uh, kind of transpire and how he got his hands on it. It looked like he came out to the right side on a fake run and then turned around and they threw right back to him in the middle. Penalty flag is thrown. It's going to be illegal shift for against Putnam City North. We'll move the football back from the seven. Cost them five yards. So now they're outside to the 12-yard line. Down remains the same. First and goal, but instead of first and goal to the seven, it's first and goal from the Union 12-yard line. Norman, the quarterback, back to pass. Now rolls to his right, looking to throw on the run. Throws, and it is incomplete. And at the two-yard line. Low for uh, Caleb Pugate, the uh, intended receiver. Union had that well covered, though, so now it'll be 
Second down and goal to go from the 12 yard line. Yeah, he had a small window of opportunity to throw it there to the receiver at the pylon on the ground with a Union defender on his back and, and there was just nowhere really to put it and he put it as close as he could, but still out of bounds. 6.07 left in this first half. Union leading 14 to nothing, but it's been a struggle here. Most of it's self-imposed with penalties and turnovers against Union in the first half. Norman takes the snap, looks over the middle, now to the right side, pumps once, I'm gonna take, tuck it, run 10 to the five and out of bounds at the five yard line. It'll be third and goal from the five. Nowhere to go, he was locked on his receivers to the left side and they were covered up, so that's a good job there just to tuck it and run, get what you can, but good job by the defense of making sure that no one was open in the end zone. Six minutes left in this opening <laughs> half with uh, Union leading 14 to nothing. Putnam City North trying to get a score here before halftime. Their third down and goal from the Union five-yard line. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. The back, Anthony Duncan, goes to the left side of quarterback Aaron Norman. No waits for the direct snap, takes it, hands off the big guys, hit at the five. He pulled down at the four-yard line. It'll be fourth down and goal. Nice job defensively for the Redskins there. Made the initial stop at the five, then jumped on and pulled him down at the four-yard line. It'll be... Fourth and goal from the four. They're going to send a field goal team in, I believe. Yeah, I thought they may go for it there, but after that stun there, Darius Murdoch made a great stop up the inside, caused them to change directions, and then Nathaniel Raper is there for, for the secure tackle. So it's a great job by the D there. The ball's going to be spotted at the 10 yard line. It'll be a uh, field goal of 20 yards for Sam Alley. Slight angles on the left hash mark. Alley with the wind blowing his face, and he just gets it underway, and it's going to be to get over the crossbar. It barely oh did. Wow. It got just barely over that crossbar. Big rush put on by Union. But the field goal of 20 yards is good by Sam Alley, and the Panthers are on the board 14-3 to now. Union leading Putnam City North. And so far, I think you have to say for Putnam City North, it's been a good half for them. Yeah, I think they'd be pretty pleased right now at five minutes left to 14 points on the board by Redskins. And uh, they made a great drive, so it's going to build a little momentum on their side. I wouldn't foresee uh, this being this close at all. And, no. and they've been playing super tough on the offense and defensive side. And, you know, Zach, of course, you had a one pass intercepted in the end zone, fumbled inside the 10. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of holding penalties. And uh, not too surprising as when you are such a huge favorite. You come to the road. It's the first cold won the game of the season. Hard to keep these kids uh, locked in at this point. Yeah, I'd agree, and, and that's kind of what we saw the last time we came over this direction. We were at Edmund North, and right. uh, similar focus. They just weren't all put together, and, and you don't blame them, but you really want it to, you know, always be firing on all cylinders. Union 8-0 and on the season, of course, number one ranked in the state. Yeah, and you don't want to stub your toe on a team that you're clearly picked to win. So they put that one together. That's 11 plays. They come 80 yards on 11 plays, took up 3 minutes and 22 seconds, or 25 seconds, and just a field goal there by Ali for 21 yards. And Ali takes a kick off a slow, short pooch kick. Union uh, catches it at the 40-yard line. will take it right there. Taken by Trey Thompson. Uh, and, uh, just that short pooch kick. And so with 5.15 left to play in this first half, Union's got to get things cranked up here, folks. Their lead is now 14 to three. But they have just not played Union Redskins football to this point. Yeah, I think you kind of pointed it out though. They've made some really good drives. They've just kind of maybe had some, uh, you know, uh, mental mental uh, errors there, if you will. And uh, I, you know, I don't I don't foresee them having too many of those uh, after the halftime. But they need to put some points on the board here before. Redskins have the football, first and ten, their own 40-yard line. Two receivers left, two receivers right, one to the left side, two men in the backfield. Peyton Thompson waits for the direct snap, sends A.K. Wilson in motion, passes to Wilson off the right side, Wilson at the 40, Wilson at the 45, Wilson pushed out of bounds, the 48-yard line, so gained about eight on first down, be second and two. Will Taylor, the linebacker, pushed him out of bounds there. Another just swing pass out there to A.K. Anytime they're in zone, they give you plenty of room, A.K. really creates a, a lot in space. Thompson waits for the snap, takes it, hands off. There goes Boone up the middle there. Big hole at the 45 and stumbles forward to the 40-yard line. Darius Boone, a nice big hole on the left side there. Will Taylor, the Mike linebacker, made the stop. Left guard, uh, Taylor Barker. Big left tackle, 6'5", 330-pound Ricky Stromberg. Blew a big hole through the Putnam City North defense. First and 10, Union at the Putnam City North 41. Thompson passes out to A.K. Wilson on the left side, down the sideline, 30, 25. Run out of bounds at the 20-yard line. 
P.K. Stevenson pushed him out of bounds. Another big game for the Redskins. The Union is cranking it up now. I'll tell you what, C.J. is uh, just an awesome treat to have on your team. He makes one block, and A.K. is about to pass the guy he's blocking, and he sheds the block and goes downfield makes another one. Union first down from the Putnam City North 20-yard line. Quick pass out to the left side, taken by C.J. Moore. Breaks the tackle at the 10, pulled down by his collar at the 7-yard line. It'll be first and goal, Redskins. C.J. Moore with a reception on the pass from Peyton Thompson went down the left sideline, and could probably call a horse collar on that. Didn't want to do it. Yeah, they sure could. Boone in the backfield behind Thompson from the seven. Hands to Boone, and he's going to score easily. Nobody touched him. Into the end zone, off the left side. Union collapsed the Putnam City North defense, and the Redskins quickly respond to that three-point three, uh, field goal by uh, Putnam City North. Come down the field to get their third touchdown of the night with 440 left in the first half. Well, that was just a quick score there. It looked like it took about 35 seconds for him to drive 55 yards. We'll get the official score and recap here in a second, but that's more of that Redskin offensive power that we're used to seeing. Noah Rauschenberg setting up for his third extra point attempt of the night. He's perfect so far. Snap, down it goes, up it goes, and through it goes. Rauschenberg with his third consecutive extra point. And with 440 left in the first half here, it is Tulsa Union now 21, Putnam City North 3. We'll be right back and give you a World Series update too as we take a break on KMG 740 News 102.3. where Union has just scored and kicked the ball into the end zone. Rauschenberg uh, kicked it to the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Putnam City North will take over first and 10 at its own 20-yard line, now trailing 21-3, to 440 left in the first half. Well, it's official, Chris. That scoring drive, 35 seconds, five plays to take out 60 yards. Wow. And Boone was in seven yards for that easy touchdown to take the lead after the Rauschenberg kick, 21-3. to three. Norman. Takes a snap, hands off, back in the backfield. Going to be thrown down for a loss of five yards. A flank of reverse. Grant Lida hit in the backfield, thrown down for a loss of five on the play. Good job defensively. Darius Murdoch, nose guard for the Redskins, putting the pressure on. They're going to mark it now at the 16-yard line, so second and 14 for the Panthers. Second and 14 is a great time to give you a World Series update. Yes. What we've got here this Dodgers 0, Astros 1, and the bottom of the second. Game three, the World Series in Houston for the first time. And out goes the big back, Anthony Duncan off the left side. He's thrown back as he crossed the 15, maybe got to the 16 yard line. It'll be third and long though for the Panthers. It'll be third and 12, third and 12 at their own 18 yard line. Darius Murdoch had his hands on that one again. So another loose ball that uh, isn't called, but that's uh, part, of the, part of the game. If you don't get it before the whistle blows, you don't get to keep it. Norman looked over the sideline for a third and 12 play here. He's got three receivers to his uh, right, one to his left. Anthony Duncan in the backfield off to his right side, taking the direct snap, waiting for it at his own 13-yard uh, line. Back to pass is Norman. Throws a high looping pass, and it is caught at the 47-yard line. Wow, what a reception by Antoine Brown. That was a look like a high fly, just a pop-up. Waited, waited, waited for it. Finally came down, and Antoine Brown made the catch. And on third and 12, once again, 
the Panthers convert and take it all the way up to their own 48-yard line. Well, that one was deep, and that's another one of those ones. It's a really difficult catch. You know, it's windy outside tonight anyway, but if you're running inside and you try to get back to the numbers and they throw it over your other shoulder, it's like a center field turn, and you've got to try to refine that ball in the air. He did a great job of making that track and making a catch. From the 48-yard line, first and 10, Norman hands off to Duncan. Duncan off the left side in the Union territory, down to the 46-yard line. Good run on first down. Uh, Braden Spicer, the linebacker, made the tackle. He'll mark it at uh, the Union 47-yard uh, line. Gain of five, second and five. Clock running, 2.40 left in the first half. That first down, they've been able to hit that a couple times there for a quick five yards off, off that running, uh, running game there. Once again, Aaron Norman takes a look over the sideline, now sets him down, two to the left, two to the right. The receivers, one to the backfield, hands off to the running back, Duncan. He is stacked up immediately and thrown back across the 50. Wow. Kenyon Walker, along with Isaiah McGuire, teamed up to make the big stop for Union, throwing it back. It'll be third and long now for the Panthers. Great defensive stand there by the D-line, man. That's a huge, huge play there to make a really high-pressure third down here with two minutes left in the game, or in, in the first half, not quite the game. But uh, good job by the D of stacking them up there and not letting any yards on the ground. Third down and five. They're at the 47 of Union. Have to get to the Redskin 42 to convert for another first down. And the clock running under a minute 50 left to play in this opening half. Redskins number one in the state, leading 21 to three. Pressure's on, Norman hits a man on the right side and dropping it, incomplete. Anthony Duncan on the right side. Reach down for it, just couldn't quite corral the fourth down. Let's see how they want to play this. Already down 21 to three. They're sending the punter out. They've went for it a couple times tonight on fourth down. One time they were trying to go for it and they actually were had a, a uh, offensive penalty and backed up. But uh, I would have thought maybe they'd go for it in this field position because they haven't given up much difference in where they've been giving the ball to the Redskins anyway. So fourth and five at the 47-yard line. Sam Ali standing back inside his own 40-yard line. Landon Wood for Union standing inside his 25. Pressure's on. Boy, they've been close all night. Punter falls down and uh, not going to go for that. Landon Wood makes a diving catch <laughs> at the 25-yard line. That's where Union will take the football first and 10. Well, he tried to act like he'd been uh, shot, but yeah, did. <laughs> yeah. he did the old uh, possum, right? Yeah, the old soccer play. Alex Davis walked up next to him and tried to block the punt and turned left, clearly avoided him, and he <laughs> fell over backwards, hands in the air. So kind of funny how they uh, they do that sometimes. Minute 31 left in this opening half. Union 21 to 3. What did they take him to score that last drive? Uh, 35 seconds. Wow. Redskins offense back on the field and 75 yards away for another touchdown. With 131 to work with and a couple of timeouts. Back to pass goes uh, Thompson, looking to his right side, throws, got a man wide open and overthrows A.K. Wilson. He was inside the 45 yard line at Putnam City North, just a little high for the 5'10 uh, wide receiver. Incomplete, second and 10. You see A.K. come up with those quite a bit this evening and or this season, and that would, was in his hands, but again, it's a cold night, that ball was coming at him pretty quick, and he wasn't able to kind of bring that one down. Union looking to clinch another district championship here tonight, adding to a perfect 8-0 season, the 5-0 district record at this point. They have it first and 10, uh, excuse me, second and 10 at the 25 yard line. Thompson waiting for the snap. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left. Now in motion comes A.K. Wilson. Looking to pass out of the back for the goes to Boone. Boone at the 25 at the 30. He spun down the 32-yard line. He's about three or four yards shy. Zach Dorch got in there to hold him short of the first down. We'll pause five seconds for station identification. You're listening to Redskins football, KRMG Tulsa. From the Ferguson Buick GMC Studios, KRMG FS and Springs, KRMG Tulsa. Back at Putnam City where Union has a third and three from their own 32-yard line. Thompson, a direct snap and a whistle and a flag first, and it's going to be a legal procedure again against Union. Wow, so from third and three, now go back to third and eight. I didn't see that one yet. I, I was just trying to assess the defense and where it was going, so I didn't see who, who jumped. I don't know if we did, but that's unfortunate there. That's, uh, again, an easy third down conversion. Now you make it into a third and long. Move the football uh, back to the 27-yard line. They've got to get to the 35 for a first down, so third and eight. 
Thompson rolling out to his right side, throws on the run, got a man wide open at the 40. First down, A.K. Wilson, nicely done there. Rolled to his right, A.K. Wilson came all the way across the field. The Oklahoma State commit made the uh, catch there, and it'll be first down Union out to their own 42-yard line. He went ahead and re redeemed himself for that easy drop earlier and made the conversion. That's a nice job by A.K. of just coming back and really making some great concentration and making the catch. 43 seconds left in the first half. Union has, again, two timeouts. Back to pass to Thompson. Looks, looks, plenty of time. Now throws down the left sideline and overthrows everybody. Incomplete. Intended for C.J. Moore. C.J. was at the 30. The football was at the 20. Incomplete. 37 seconds left on the clock. Well, they started to hustle there. C.J. got the play late. But a great job by Darius Boone. They stepped up. They brought a linebacker right up in the middle. And Darius stepped up in the line like he should and just planted the linebacker and gave uh, Peyton Thompson enough time to throw that ball. Peyton looking at the Union sideline. Gets his play call. Two receivers to either side. Boone in the backfield behind him. Boone now goes in motion. Fakes to Boone, throws inside. It goes to C.J. Moore. Moore breaks the tackle to 50, 45. Goes outside of the 40. First down at the 40-yard line. Nice running by C.J. Moore. That's a great job there, catching the slant, just getting downfield. And almost, you know, a couple, uh, just, a, just a smidgen of area. And he would have taken that one to the house. Takes it to the Putnam City North 40-yard line. First and 10. Thompson throws man wide open at the 30-yard line. It's C.J. Moore, and Moore is now pulled down at the 29. Another first down for the Redskins. 17 seconds left on the clock. We're going to stop the clock to set the ball. I think we still have three timeouts uh, for the Redskins, so there's no... They have two. Two and timeouts, you, okay. You, I think just took one of those, let's see. Yep. Timeout Uni. We'll take a quick break. This is Redskins football on KRMG Tulsa. In high school football, News 1023 KRMG. Back to Putnam City Union, first and 10 from the Putnam City North 29. Back to pass Thompson over the middle, and it is just underthrown. Intended for A.K. Wilson cutting across the 10 yard line with the ball just a bit short hop there. It'll be second and 10 from the 29, and 13 seconds left in this first half. Again, Union still has one timeout. Super close there. They just. Uh a deep post route, and A.K. Wilson goes down to grab it and just, just short of his fingertips. From the 29, Thompson with 13 seconds to work with and one timeout. Union leading Putnam City North, 21-3 to here. From the snap, takes it, throws down the sideline, and caught it to the, the five-yard line, dives for the end zone. Give him a touch. It not? Let's see. Yes, touchdown, Avery Alverson. What a grab. 29 yards. Streaking down the right sideline, and Peyton Thompson just threw it out there perfectly. Hit it in stride, dove to the end zone. Had to wait for the officials. They marked it. Touchdown, Redskins with seven seconds left in the first half. Union 27 to 3 now. Wow, well, what a pass. that was a great pass. And unfortunately, they were only on the 20. Well, what were they on there? The 29. On the 29 yards. So Avery Iverson's got a 24 yard average on his catches, and that was a great catch over the defender and uh, fell into the end zone. So wonderful play there with limited time on the clock. No, Rauschenberg hit the extra point, but a whistle is signal. Let's see. Offsides against Putnam City North. That was before the uh, kick was, so they'll have to mark that. And, uh, and Rauschenberg kick it again. Well, they're going to. No, they declined it. But they still, I guess it's still before the kick was made, though, right? So he's, he didn't want to go any closer than that. So. The ball will be at the 10 yard line for the extra point. And Rauschenberg ready to attempt his fourth extra point of the uh, night. High snap.
puts, pulls it down. Rushmore kicks it through. Flag was thrown as well. Whistle sounded. Oh, now it's no good. No good. No good. It was a high snap. Tried to pull it down, but it messed up Rushmore's timing. And so the extra point is no good. Seven seconds left in the first half. Union 27. Putnam City three. We'll keep it here and have a World Series update, right? Game three. That's right. Houston. Still, still in the bottom of the second. We had to double check there that the inning hadn't changed. The bottom of the second it is now zero outs. So it's a long inning, but it is three to nothing now. And Houston leads the Dodgers. The three Astros to nothing. have runners at first and third, with nobody out there now. They three nothing. Three nothing. So the Astros uh, trying to. Putting the hammer down, aren't they? That's right, yeah. Take a lead. Game three there. That scoring drive was uh, eight plays, 75 yards in a minute, 23. A lot more of that power that we were looking for from the Redskins this evening. This, the first half or the first quarter still was a little bit slow. The second quarter, they've really put some points on the board, but that is an Avery Alverson catch, 29 yards for the touchdown. And the kick was no good. Yeah, Rochester, they had a high snap on that one. Couldn't pull it down. So the World Series... It is uh, game three with the Astros leading three to nothing in the bottom of the second. They've got nobody out. Runners at first and third. We're on the Oklahoma City Thunder Trail, Minnesota, 57-55 at the peak just up the road here with just a minute left in the first half. And the Tulsa Golden Hurricane is kicked off down at SMU. That game just getting underway. We'll give you an update on that in a moment, too. Kickoff comes out to Antoine Brown. Brown goes across the 15, dives the 20. Full ball's loose on the ground. Let's see who has it. Haven't signaled yet. Union, that makes no difference, the half is over. Clock runs out, it looked like it might have been Union football there, but that is the end of the first half. And after two quarters of football here at Putnam City Stadium, it's the number one ranked undefeated, 6A1 defending champion Union Redskins, 27, and Putnam City North Panthers, three. We'll take a break and have halftime, we're glad to report missing in action, we've now found Doc Blevins, he had some technical issues there. He's made his way up to the press box to do his halftime show for us here. So we'll turn it over to Doc Blevins when we come back on KMG 740 News 1023. Redskin football leading 27 to 3 at the half at Putnam City North. We're just northwest of the skyline of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, as the Union Redskins playing at Putnam City Stadium and leading the Putnam City North Panthers 27-3. 12 minutes on the clock to start the third quarter. They're ready to kick off with the Redskins. Is their big kicker, Noah Rauschenberg. And we're getting ready and underway for the second half. Brown and Mosher deep for the Panthers. It'll be John Mosher at the 20, at the 25, and spun down at the 30-yard line and the Panthers will have it there, first and 10 at their own 30. Well, they're gonna have to come out firing anytime you've got a cool evening game and then you get to set down and break for the halftime. Uh, you're gonna come out firing, so uh, they're gonna have to come out here and, and get after it early. So let's look at this uh, first half stats. Putnam City North, they go eight for 10 for 145 yards in the air the first half. So pretty efficient in the air, they just didn't throw a whole bunch. On the ground, Duncan, 14 runs. For 37 yards. I thought he'd had a lot more runs than that, but uh, uh, he doesn't. Duncan has three catches for 23, and Brown is their big receiver, three for 91. 114 in the air, 36 is all they've got on the ground. We can come back here for the Union in just a second. From the 30 yard line, Putnam City hands off to the big running back, and they get to the brief yard there. Up to uh, no gain. Going to mark him short of the 30 yard line. Switch up the running back there, but let's go Peyton Thompson. First half, 16 to 22 for 200 yards, two touchdowns, and one INT. It's been a while since he's thrown an interception. Uh, Boone's the uh, major yard catch, 14, uh, 14 carries for 90 yards, two touchdowns in the first half. Second and nine of the Panthers. Quick throw at the right side. Caught there at the 30, knocked the 33. Ball is loose on the ground. Union picks it up. They have it at the 34 yard, at the 40, 39 yard line. They're going to mark it. It'll be Union football. Good hit, but Grant Lida was the man who cut the football. Brandon Spicer was the guy who recovered it for the Redskins after a big hit there, and Union gets a turnover to start the second half. It'll be Redskins football first and 10 at the Putnam City North 39-yard line, leading 27-3. Well, they came out firing there, didn't they? So that's pretty awesome. 
uh, receiving yards in the first half. Uh, Harris has two catches over the middle uh, for about 15, 20 yards. I don't have that official there, the unofficial official. C.J. Moore, five catches for 72, one touchdown. Avery Alverson, one for 29 and a touchdown. And Wilson, five for 44. So 201 in the air and 114 on the ground for 315 total in the first half and 27 points. Good job by Richard Johns here. Thank you, Richard. That's our halftime stats. Hand up. Outside of Boone. Boone uh, going to swallow it under as he got to the 40-yard line. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Defensive front for Putnam City. He stopped him there. He tried to sidestep him, just nowhere to go. So uh, Darius Boone starts the half out with a no-yard gain on the first play of the second half. Second and 10, Redskins on the Putnam City 39-yard line. Thompson, snap, hands off to Boone. Boone looking the left side, breaks, tries to get outside. He's going to be caught and pulled down just about the 37-yard line. Gained just a yard or two, so it's going to be third and long for Union. That was uh, Tevin Gunter, left cornerback, made the stop. If you're listening to us at home and you want to know what TU's doing in the bottom of the first, <laughs> it's two minutes left in the first. It's 14 to 7. Uh, the uh, Hurricane are up on the ponies down there in Texas. All right. Tulsa leading SMU 14 7. Well done, TU. Redskins need nine on third down from the 38 yard line. Waiting for the snap as Thompson takes it, rolls to his right side, looking downfield, now throws and drop. Incomplete. And now the hands of the tight end, Lawrence Harris. He was going to have some running room. Looked like he could have gotten the first down, but couldn't hold on to the football. So Union's going to send out the punt team. Harris made two sweet handed catches in the first half, and that one has plenty of room to run. And, you know, as a big tight end, he's got his back to the defenders. He's got to make a secure catch and turn to get upfield. And they're not known for running downfield. He had plenty of room, but it's close to the sideline. A lot of things going through his mind and just unable to bring that one in. They're going to try a field goal. Noah Rauschenberg has come in. The T is at the 46. You know, the ball's going to be spot the 46 yard line. It's got to be some wow. kind of record, eh? This would be a 56 yard field goal. Rauschenberg kicks it way short, hits the goal line, picked off there by. Uh, Putnam City North, returning it to the 10, the 15, and being pulled down there. Kate Brown, I Antoine think. Antoine Brown, that, yeah. That tackle there. Go so, a uh, long 53-yard field goal attempt. Did, barely made it to the goal line. It was returned out to the 16-yard line uh, by Putnam City. I, I kind of like the call. I know if you're going for that, it's, it's just as good as a pooch punt, right? So the ball's live. It's better than a punt, right? I don't know. I kind of like it. Yep. It's unfortunate for him because he makes all his field goals, <laughs> but, but uh, it's good for the team. So the Panthers now, second possession of the second half from the 16-yard line. Hand off the right side of the 20 up to the, about the 20-yard line. He was stopped there. Brandon Spicer made the stop. Deshaun Churchwell, 5'10 junior, has come in to be the running back for the Panthers to start the second half, 5'10", 150. A little bit of a break from Anthony Duncan, the big bull of a running back, 6'2", 220, who ran and controlled the first half for uh, Putnam City North. Yeah, he must come down with an injury or something because yeah. we haven't seen him at all the the second half. Second down and six. Passing and incomplete. Intended out there. Norman made the toss. Intended out there for Caleb Fugate, but uh, wide of the mark. It'll be third down now and six for Putnam City. Football at their own 20-yard line. I'll tell you, just a great throwing motion. The kid really gets the ball out of his hands fast and uh, has a nice zip on the ball. So, uh, like you said, he, he beat some of those passing yards from from uh, an OU quarterback here. So Yeah, Sam Bradford's record he broke a couple of games ago. Quick flick out, caught and held on to and going to be close to a first down. Great catch by Grant Lida. It was the Lida-Norman combination. Brandon Spicer, Brandon Spicer made this tackle on the play that uh, set the record. It is a first down. They got... Got the first down on the play, but sophomore Aaron Torment totaled 399 yards of offense to break the 12-year-old school record of 373 set by Sam Bradford in 2005. Of course, Bradford, the uh, OU Heisman Trophy winning quarterback, was a graduate of 2006 in Putnam City North. And wide receiver Grant Light in that game had 14 catches for 235 yards. It's been the highlight of Putnam City North. Seeing a low snap. Trying to pick it up, and Norman does get it. We're going to be swarmed under, way back inside the 20-yard line. Big loss on the play. Kenya Walker was the guy who made the hit for Union to pull him down there inside the 20. Bobbled snap there and really nowhere to go. Kenya Walker was 
off the corner, making the turn for the, uh, you know, chasing the quarterback anyway, and it kind of just rolled right his direction. So um, that the quarterback wasn't able to make a play, and Walker gobbled him up for a big loss. Second down, but now it's second and 21. The ball way back on North's own 17-yard line. Throwing it to Norman down the right sideline, and it is caught as the inbounds or no, out of bounds. Caught there by Grant Lida, but was not able to stay inbounds. Incomplete pass to the third and 21. JT McLeod back there defensively for Union. We've seen him throw that a couple times this evening down the down the sideline back shoulder. They've made a couple circus catches, but not on this one. This one was a little bit too far out of bounds. He does make the catch, but comes down with it out of bounds. From their own 17, they need 21 yards on third down. They have to get all the way up to their own 38-yard line for a first down. Norman takes a low snap, has the screen going in the middle, knocked it on right away. That was Hishin Churchwell coming out of the backfield, and the Redskins were all over that one. Great defensive effort there. We saw Nathan Raper was one of the guys in there. They made the hit. It'll be fourth down, and the Panthers will have to punt it away inside their own 20-yard line. Great pressure there by the Union Redskins. They came up... Uh, with a big stop there on second down and then just continued to put the pressure on, really sniffed out that screen, there was nowhere to go. And no gain, fourth and 21. Sam Ali is standing uh, in his own two yard line to punt of the way. Landon Wood is at the Putnam City North 42 waiting for it, a big rush and again, they just barely got it off. Wood, fair catch, runs up and makes a diving catch at the 35 yard line and Union will take over first and 10 there. Great field position, they're gonna say officially the 36. The first down, Redskins. Well, great field position here. Start in the in the red zone almost, really. So just another horrible punt from the Panthers. It's just one of those things we've seen all season. The punt game uh, for some of these schools just isn't where it needs to be, and that was a disastrous punt. Didn't go very far and gives Union just great field position to start here. 36-yard line, so another very short punt. 21 yards or something? About that, yeah, wow. Here High on the Knights, 33. Peyton Thompson waiting for the snap from the 36-yard line. Hands off to Boone. Boone goes off the left side inside the 30. Flag flies as he is tackled down at the 28-yard line, but a flag was thrown. And holding again on Tulsa Union. Who's this referee again? Darren Foster. See, he wanted his name wow. called. He wanted to throw that flag, so you got him. Yep. Looked like Tanner Fort was the guy that's going to get called for that one. Made, he made a good block, and then the uh, linebacker was running away from him, and he continued to uh, put pressure on the linebacker and fell on top of him. And most of the time, if they see it from behind, it looks like a hold. And sure enough, they're going to bring that one back. So now it'll be first and 17 after the markoff. And the ball is at the Putnam City North 43-yard line. They need to get to the 26 for a first down now. Waiting for the snap is Thompson. Tight end Lawrence Harris, the backfield, goes off to the right side. Now throws off the left side, tip incomplete. C.J. Moore, the intended receiver, but Zach Dortch. Got his hand up there and knocked it away. It'll be third and long for the Redskins. I'll tell you what, C.J. Moore had all kinds of, of space down here. He had a 10-yard cushion. He was going to have plenty of room to make a move on number 24, and that's a, that's a touchdown-saving deflection there by Zach. So Union now facing a second down and 17 to go at the 43-yard line of Putnam City North Territory. Peyton Thompson by himself, empty backfield, two receivers left, three to the right side, throws quickly outside the C.J. Moore, Moore inside the 40, and pulled out the 37-yard line. Going to be third down and uh, about 11 yards to go for the Redskins. Laren Belton made the tackle for Putnam City North. You know, I don't, this is a position that I don't think Redskins really feel like a whole bunch of pressure that they can't go pick this thing up. A lot of times you've got a, a third down and, and long, and you feel a whole bunch of pressure. I think the Redskins really just buckle down here and feel confident they can pick up the yardage. They need 11, they're at the 37, need to get to the 26 for this first down. Here's 6.40, clock running left of the third quarter, 27 to three, Union leading Putnam City North. Back to pass goes Thompson, rolls to his right side, looking downfield, on the run, has a man wide open, and he takes the knee at the 24 yard line and just inside the stick, first down for Union. Good call, Zach. Avery Alvison there for just enough for the first down. A great play, gets the yardage, and I thought Peyton had enough room out there to run. We haven't seen him really just tuck one and run, but, man, he had about 15 yards to tuck one down and take off. First and 10, Union at the Putnam City North 24. Thompson takes the snap, 
Hands to Boone, drops the football, it's on the ground. Scramble forward and Boone got back on. Now it's still loose on the ground. Let's see what they say. Oh. It's gonna go up to, over to Putnam City North. Golly, Will Taylor kept battling for it. Boone, that's his second fumble of the, the night. Uh, second one tonight, it's wow. for sure. And he uh, had it, it looked like, and scored it out from under him, and then Will Taylor picked it up, so another turnover. So Union, despite leading 27 to three in this game, has had a uh, football dropped in the end zone. Interception in the end zone. Interception in the end zone, rather. Then they had a fumble inside the 10. Now another fumble here. A lot of holding penalties, so it's been a very sloppy game for Union, beside still lead 27 to three. Yeah, and the factors that come into that is, you know, they're, they're got a team that they're clearly picked to beat, and then it's a little bit cooler. First cold night of the, of the season. Flag flies as the ball comes outside and a quick pass from uh, Norman to Angelo Bell. But a flag was thrown. Let's see what happens here as the ball is going to go up to the 38-yard line, Putnam City North. And wait to see what the call is. It'll be a legal procedure against the Panthers, so this will negate that to eight-yard pickup, and they'll mark off five against Putnam City North. Looked like a pretty, pretty well-executed play by the yeah. Panthers. Got outside and picked up some yards. And uh, seen it several times this evening. Some yardage to just walk backwards off the, off the field. So moves the football back to the 24-yard line. Will be first and 15 now for North. Redskins defense has given up only a field goal, and that barely <laughs> got over the crossbar in the second quarter. Norman, low snap, picks it up off the ground, throws up over the middle, and is well short, and uh, too bad. If it had been on target, we had several, uh, including Landon Wood, ready to pick it off. It was intended for Grant Leiter. Badly thrown ball there, though, and it's incomplete. Yeah, that's an easy pickoff there. Wow. Trey, Trey uh, Thompson and Landon were looking at each other, and it landed right between them, and there was not a Panther in sight. So that makes the down second. The yardage remains 15. North the 24-yard line, need to get up to their 39 for a first down. Norman, snap is good this time. Looks, rolls, has got to roll to his right, being pressured. Heads to the sideline, throws his sidearm, tipped in the air, and almost intercepted again by Landon Wood. Oh, tipped up and almost had the football, but then they got a good job by J.T. McLeod. Also got a, J.T. McLeod got the tip on it, and Landon Wood thought we had the interception. Yeah, he sure did. He was off to the races, and... Uh, I don't I don't blame him. It was a tip ball and everybody goes for a tip ball, but Spicer was going for it and Landon didn't see Braden Spicer trailing backwards. So it's much like a center fielder and a shortstop. They both want to make the play and uh, unfortunately neither one saw it or could call the other guy off. So it goes just an incomplete pass. It makes it now third down and 15 for the Panthers. At their 24 yard line again, they need the 39 for a first down here. They send three receivers to the left side, one to the right. Running back to 12 in the backfield with the quarterback and a whistle and a flag before this. So it's going to be a legal procedure again. Another five yards against North. Third and 20. They've got a nice quick punt. This would be a good place for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's uh, just a lot of mental uh, mishaps this evening. You know, a lot of that cold weather comes into play on something like that. It's, uh, it's briskly windy and eating right through their uh, their clothing. <laughs> They're also a two and six football team. <laughs> Having a tough season, Coach Ryan Laverty, his first season at Putnam City North, two and six on the season. Union, eight and oh, number one in the state. Scrambling is Anthony Norman, has the blocker in front of him, goes out of bounds though, uh, before he gets the 30 yard line, which doesn't help much at all when you got third and 20 to go, and he gets 10. So it'll be fourth down, time to punt again for uh, the Panthers. In comes Sam Alley. Back for Union will be Landon Wood. And once again, Union with a chance to get great field position. They've had great field position all night, though, really. They sure have. They have. They've not been able to capitalize on it most of the evening. I like that last one. They, they picked the ball up at the 36 and coughed up the football at the 20. Wood is going to be at his own 45-yard line waiting for this punt from Sam Ali. High snap. Big rushes on. Boy, they just, they ought to be got a piece of no. I guess I just went off the side of his foot, though. Bounces out of bounds at the Putnam City North 47 yard line. So, was that a 17 yard punt? 17 yard punt there. Minute 49 left in the third quarter at the Chesapeake Arena. And Minnesota leading Oklahoma City by two points, 85 83. So, Thunder in a battle with the Timberwolves there at the, at the peak. And meanwhile, Tulsa leading SMU 14 to seven. 
just underway in the second quarter down in Dallas. That was an 8 o'clock kickoff down there. The last we heard, uh, Houston was dominating the Dodgers 4 nothing down to Houston in Game 3 of the World Series. 4-1. to one. Okay, Dodgers have scored. 4-1 to one now. Redskins the football, thrown 47-yard line. Had a big hole up the middle. It goes the right side of the, the 35 to the 32-yard line. Goes Keith Dorsey. Keith Dorsey, the junior running back. Giving Darius Boone a little spell there. Tyler Fisher is now the, don't check it. Thought Tyler might have been in the game, but not, not yet. He will be probably, but not yet. I think the nose tackle or the linebacker is going to get talk, uh, flag here for talking to the referee. That usually comes in late while someone's chirping in the ear of the, up the, uh, the referee. So, Yep, personal foul against Putnam City North. As if that wasn't bad enough that they had the football uh, at their own. Uh, the Union took it down to the 31-yard line on that run there by Dorsey. And now they're going to mark off 15 more yards. A great run, Panthers, great yeah. run by Dorsey. I haven't seen him all all season. Maybe a little bit in a couple late games, but uh, great first run of the evening. He came in white hot. Takes it all the way down to the Putnam City North 16 yard line. First and ten Redskins looking to cash in on this uh, good field position. Then a uh, good run and a bad penalty for the Panthers. First and ten at the 16. Payton Thompson waiting for the snap. Takes the direct snap. Hands off, it goes to Dorsey again. Dorsey is going to cut down right at the yard line of scrimmage there. Nowhere to run. Good job defensively. Chris Barnes is up there for Putnam City North. Not a whole lot of room there for Dorsey. He tried to give a little head and shoulders fake as he got the handoff and wasn't able to juke anybody out and was tackled right at the line of scrimmage. So just not a, a big enough hole for him to squeeze in there. It's now second and ten for Union. Again, the football at the Putnam City North 16-yard line. Dorsey to the right of the quarterback. Peyton Thompson waiting for the snap. Thompson takes it, looks over the middle, pumps once, now throws to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, C.J. Moore. Actually caught it at the one, hit by two. Putnam City North defenders, but bulled his way to the end zone past D.K. Stevenson, and a 20-yard touchdown pass play. C.J. was met in the air right there by a 150-pound junior, and uh, I don't know that it even shook him like a train hitting a pup can. He just... Crushed him down and went right on in for the touchdown. Out comes Noah Rauschenberg to attempt the extra point. His last one uh, was no good as he had a high snap. This one, the snap is good, hold is good, and the kick is also good. 4.29 left to play in the third quarter. And the Redskins have moved out to a 34-3 lead over Putnam City North. We'll take a break. Redskins football on KRMG. What if... KRMG. Chris Lincoln along with Zach Jones, Doc Blevins, and the crew here as Union kicks off after just adding another touchdown, 34-3, the lead over Putnam City North. Brown takes it at the 10-yard line for Putnam City North. It's going to be swarmed under at the 15, and that's where the Panthers will take over, trailing 34-3. Good news for the Golden Hurricane down in Dallas. That's right. They just put some more points on the board, 21-7. to they, they take the lead over SMU, so... Good job now by the Hurricane. And uh, that last scoring drive has put together three plays in just about as many seconds as yards. 55 seconds and 47 yards. C.J. Moore goes 16 yards up over the top to make a big catch, and the kick is good by Rauschenberg. Puts 34-3 to three on, the, on the scoreboard right, right there for the Redskins. 
That big north running back, Anthony Duncan, in the first half must be injured. He's uh, replacing him by Tayshawn Churchwell, who has the handoff, goes off the right side, and he'll be swarmed under at the 15-yard line and pushed back inside the 10-yard line. That was uh, Braden Spicer leading the way for the goal for uh, the Union Redskins. Into the third quarter at the peak in uh, NBA basketball action, Minnesota, the Timberwolves lead the Oklahoma City Thunder 90 to 89. That's 90 89, heading to the fourth quarter for the Thunder. There's two guys down here without pads or helmets. It looks like that guy in the black jacket could be the running back that. Uh, a loss of just a yard officially on the play, so second and 11. North at their own 15 yard line. Trailing Tulsa Union 34 to 3, 341 left, third quarter. Norman waiting for the snap, takes it, straight back to pass. Looks over the middle, throws over the middle, and way overthrown. Intended there for Angelo Bell, but way over his head, and over the head of our three Union defenders who were covering it nicely, led by Patrick Fields, the free safety, 6'185 185-pound senior, the commit to the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, that was a good good opportunity there for him to pick some yards up and maybe a first down, but that was about 10 yards overthrown, and Fields has looked, looked like about the only receiver out there who tried to make an attempt at the ball. So now the Panthers face a third down and 11 at the 15-yard line. Need to get to 26 for the first down as Norman waits for the direct snap, takes it. Stock back to pass. Now tries to run. He's going to be swarmed under back inside the 10-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Punt time again for the Panthers. Great defensive effort by the Redskins. Mason Givens, a sophomore, 6'1", 265-pounder, was the first in there. Oh, it's a good job by him getting some action in there in the game. We don't see a lot of his time in there, but he, he made the two deep and uh, made himself a sack so to, or a tackle for a loss. So a uh, great job there of really securing the tackle. That's a really uh, elusive quarterback, so if he got loose, he's really dangerous, but a good job in keeping him contained. Sam Alley has had a miserable night punting, despite punting a lot. He's now standing about five yards deep in his own end zone. Landon Wood for Union is inside the Putnam City North 35 waiting for this punt. Snap. Big rush, and they finally got to him. Avery got it. Got the piece of the football that rolls out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. It'll be Union football first and goal at the eight. Avery Alverson. And I tell you, Union's been so close all night, Zach, and they finally got one. That's right. I thought maybe after seeing the first couple punts that he might pick one off his foot tonight. That would have been a good one to just grab there for a touchdown, but any of that helps. They block that one and just go straight to the side. And uh, obviously it's not any, you know, a whole bunch different than his punts tonight, 10, 15, 20 yards. But that one gets back to about the line of scrimmage and the Union Redskins are gonna pick up the ball on the nine. What do you think, Zach? How much longer for uh, starters here? Oh, I think if they could put one in now, it'd be time to start uh, filtering in the twos, maybe even some of the threes here in uh, the fourth quarter. That was a slow start. They really had to yeah. play hard that second quarter and third quarter. They did. Keith Dorsey is back in the backfield along with starting quarterback Peyton Thompson and it's Redskins football after the block punt. First and goal at the Panthers eight yard line. In motion goes A.K. Wilson. Handoff goes up the middle to uh, Dorsey and Dorsey is gonna be knocked down about the five so gain two or three yards on the play. Zach Dortch made the stop for the Panthers. I'm just watching that play evolve and they really are key in on AK, which of course they have to. Then they, that's the first time they've run the counter off it here in a long time. So they run the count, the fake to AK, the counter there to Dorsey or, or Boone, and then the swing pass to AK is gonna be humongous down the sideline. Boone has come in for Dorsey now. He's in the backfield with Nathan Thompson from the five, second and goal Union at the five yard line. In motion goes AK Wilson, hands off up the middle, it goes to Boone. Boone is gonna be taken down to the three yard line. It'll be third down and goal for the Redskins from the Putnam City North three yard line. 152 clock running left in the third quarter with the Redskins leading 34 to three. They just went back to the well that first time and, and went back again, same plays and just had a different running back instead of Dorsey had Darius Boone. Picked up about the same uh, yardage, and I've got a super short uh, third down. Third and goal from the three. Again, Wilson in motion. This time they hand to Wilson. He's caught in the backfield, loses the football, bounces to 15 yards, still loose, and that's going to be Putnam City North's football. Unbelievable. Will Taylor got on the football as they tried that reverse around. A.K. Wilson just couldn't handle it, dropped the football, and uh, Will Taylor picked it up for Putnam City North. The Panthers hold off the Redskins again. They've shot themselves in the foot another time tonight. Yeah, they sure did. That's, uh, that's the third fumble, and that's one that they – have been coming up on. I said they've been, they bring pressure. AK goes in motion, and Chris Barnes, the safety there, 
just actually blitzes right upfield and he guns right into AK Wilson and didn't have enough time to put his hands on the ball and really secure it and really wasn't prepared for that guy to be in front of him. So Putnam City North gets it back from the 16 yard line so Union blows an opportunity after first and goal at the eight following a block punt. Get nothing out of it, turn the ball over. Norman off the left side, he's gonna just run out of bounds. He'll lose about two or three yards on the play. Cade Brown escorted them out of bounds. The Redskins outside linebacker, 5'10", 170 pound senior. Second down and they'll lose a couple on the play. Second and uh, actually lose three. Second and 13. Football back at the north 13 yard line. Good pursuit by the defense. We've seen a lot of that this evening. Uh, a lot of times, like I said, that elusive quarterback, you let him get outside and create something and they've really just kept this guy in the backfield and shut down the running game and really kind of collapsed the passing game. So at this point, quarterback's just trying to create and make something happen to save his life back there in the back. Aaron Norman takes the snap, rolling to his right. Flag flies, the ball is kicked in the air, intercepted by Union at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, J.T. <laughs> hey. McLeod, the right cornerback. Flag is down, but I think it's going to be against Putnam City North as J.T. McLeod picked off the deflected pass and returned it some 20-plus yards into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, as many things as went wrong for the Redskins on fumbles this evening, you can never make up for a fumble, but that's an outstanding there deflection. It, it uh, all right, so it's the illegal motion on the offense, so they're going to decline that. That's going to be a touchdown after about a four, four different deflections by the DBs. J.T. McLeod picks up the interception and runs it in. Get a quick uh, station ID now on KRMG Radio uh, from Union High School's uh, 43 lead in Putnam City North. From the Ferguson Buick GMC Studios, KRMG FS and Springs, KRMG Tulsa. Go. Extra point is up. Extra point is good by Noah Rauschenberg. As the Redskins extend their lead to 41 to 3 Putnam City North 108 to play in the third quarter. We'll take a break on KRMG Redskins football. News 1023 KRMG. Rauschenberg approaches the football for Union, kicks it away. After Redskins added to their lead, 41 to 3, kicks it into the end zone. Touchback. It'll be Pundam City North football. Down 41 to 3 with 108 to play in the third quarter. Well, that scoring re recap's not going to take a lot because there's no plays to call out. <laughs> JT McLeod makes an interception, runs it in for 13 yards after deflection. So uh, there we had a quick turnaround. We had a punt block ended up with the ball on the nine fumble recovery by the Panthers that interception there puts the Redskins back on the board on top 41 to 3. Aaron Norman the Panthers quarterback has the backfield with him uh, Deshaun Churchwell who's taken over the injured uh, starter Anthony Duncan in the running back department for the Panthers Answer Churchwell bounces outside and cut off cut down at the 20 yard line so gain maybe just a yard on the play if anything. Trey Thompson, nice defensive play of the outside linebacker. Made the tackle, no gain, no, they gave him a yard. Okay, second and nine, second lot, and nine from the 21. A lot of play here tonight by Trey Thompson. I haven't seen much of Elijah Tomlin. I don't know if he was on injured re report. He made the two deep, but uh, I didn't see him on the field this evening or making any plays. Back to passes, Norman, throws on the left side, caught well short of the first down. Knocked down the 25 yard line. Jamal Jeffers made the catch for the Panthers. Hit immediately there. So it'll be third down. Putnam City North needing four yards. Football at their own 26 yard line. Trying to get to the 30 for a first down here. 
Norman trying to draw Union all sides with a quick snap and holds up now, looks over the sideline to get a play. Now they're going to call timeout. Quarter. Nope, into the quarter. All right, third quarter. It comes to an end here. Union 41, Putnam City North 3. This is Redskins football on KRMG 740 and 102.3. We're back in Butler City uh, Stadium. We're on third and four. Aaron Norman misfired on his pass intended for Antoine Brown. Incomplete pass. It'll be punt time again for the Panthers. Fourth and four. They'll have to kick it away from their own 26-yard line. Back comes uh, Landon Wood to receive uh, for the Redskins. He's standing at midfield. The punter Sam Alley will be right in, around his 10-yard line to kick it away. His last attempt was blocked by the Redskins. He's got a slow snap, a slow delivery. I really thought they would get one tonight, and they did it at the most opportune place down there in the end zone. High snap there. This time, Ali has plenty of time, though. Gets a pretty good kick, but a nice kick away this time. Driving Landon Wood back to get the 36-yard line. 40, turns the corner, cuts inside at the 45, makes a move to midfield, on his feet at the 45, flag flies at the 40, at the 30, at the 20, down the sideline, cuts inside at the 15, steps out of bounds at the 17-yard line, but a flag was thrown back at midfield. This flag is thrown back at midfield away from the play. Yeah, on the other side. 30 like, yeah. yards behind the play, and I, I didn't see it. I saw the spotter up here. Jay Johns is saying what was going. It looked like Trey Thompson was going to get called. I didn't, it was a block at the back, do you think? It was clearly behind the play, whatever it was. Oh, unfortunate. I thought he was going to get another touchdown because yeah. he was making cuts over there on the outside, and he's had two or three of them called back. So. Heck of a drill by Landon Wood. This one will come back, though, with a penalty flag against Union. So instead of having the football down uh, near the 20-yard line, it'll be back on their side of the 50. Another big penalty against the Redskins. That's going to take, gosh, 30 yards, 40 yards off the off the field for another penalty. Check on the number of penalties. That's eight. Tonight. That's eight for them tonight for uh, wow. 65 yards and six against the Panthers for 40 yards. They mark this one back now to the uh, Redskins 34-yard line. Uh, the Union will take over there, first and 10. It's 50. That's the 30 yards. That's 50 yards they took off the off the field. Wow. That's an unfortunate penalty right there. And a new quarterback, Tyler Fisher, six foot, 150 pound senior, who comes in. Keith Dorsey is in the backfield with him. Receiver is one to the left, two to the right, as Coach Fred trying to work in some of the reserves now with 11.27 left to play in the game. Clock is running. 41 to 3, Union. And up the middle, it goes to uh, Keith Dorsey, who's the starting uh, running back. He goes across the 35, up the 37-yard line, picked up about four on the play. Second and six, Union at their own 38. I'd like to get a hold of Doc and see if that's a run pass option or if that's just called for a young quarterback. But uh, that inside slot receiver, they're clearly in the zone, and the outside linebacker's walked up to the outside. It's an easy opportunity to fake the run, pop it to number 16 out there, number 16, let's see who that is. Etrick Logan. Let yeah, him, let him run. Kylan Tucker is also in there. High snap taken down there by Fisher. Hands off up the middle. It goes to Dorsey. Dorsey outside to the 50. At the 45, down the sideline, 40, 35. Pulled out of bounds on the 32-yard line. Zach Dort finally got him out of bounds. And, of course, we must have a flag down, don't we? Looks like right at the 50, unless someone lost a sock. I can't Holding <laughs> against Union. You've got to be kidding me. Great run Please. there by Dorsey. I mean, that was an outstanding cut about five yards into his run and really took off down the sideline. 
Another holding call on the Redskins. We'll take this one back again. Fortunately, from the spot of the foul, so it moves it back to the 40-yard line where the down will remain the same second. It'll be second and five, or second and four, actually. Another 25 yards, so they've taken 75 yards off in this series. Wow. Almost enough for a touchdown, right? <coughs> Tyler That's Fisher, the new quarterback for the Redskins, in the back of the with him is Keith Dorsey. We have uh, Kylan Tucker among the receivers, along with Etrick Logan and uh, Contavious White. Snap, handoff goes to uh, Dorsey, makes one man miss. Zach Dorch finally pulls him down across the 40. It'll be third down and short, third and about three yards. Got a new line of scrimmage in there, too, as well. They've got Ryan Rodriguez in there, Taylor Baker, Jake Henry, and a couple of these other guys up in the, uh, in the program here. Fisher looks to the sideline for the call. This is third down and three. Redskins at the 41. Need to get to their own 44 for the first down. Dorsey to the left side of uh, Fisher. Fisher throws, caught. First down for the Redskins up at the 49-yard line, caught by Brontavious White, the 6'2", 155-pound senior. Nicely done by the new quarterback-receiver combination. And a first down, the Redskins, they move the chains there right at the 49-yard line in their own territory. Jalen Davis in now for center, but that's a great move out there after the catch. Uh, Brontavious really made that uh, cornerback miss and almost was off to the races. 41-3, Union leading Putnam City North. Pass down the right side. It comes caught in the midfield, 45-yard line. That's caught by Anthony Davis. A long throw by Tyler Fisher to the sideline. Will Taylor made the tackle. But not before a pickup takes it down to the Putnam City North, 45-yard line. Gain of uh, seven on the play. It'll be a second down and three. Second and three for the Redskins that's on a, the move. That's a difficult catch there for Davis. Great job there running a swing pass. So he's out running sideways, and it was down around his shoestrings. Went down, picked it up, and stayed on his feet. Great job there picking up some yards. Anthony Davis, Kylan Tucker off to the right side. Dorsey behind the new quarterback, Tyler Fisher. Oh, mix up on the backfield, scramble for the football. Let's see who gets it. Hey, we finally recovered one. No, oh, we didn't. No. <laughs> Thought we had it. Zach George, though, was the guy who came out of the bottom of the pile for Putnam City North, and that is number three. Wow. Oh, four. four. Four fumbles and one interception four tonight. AK five, had one. Yep. Five turnovers, and the score is still 41 to 41 three. To three, Tulsa Union. That one there is just timing. That's you've got some younger guys in, yeah. the, in the game and. Uh, Anthony didn't know if he was supposed to go in front of the quarterback before the snap or after, and it just was a little bit of confusion. North with the quarterback for Putnam City North from there, 49-yard line. Handoff goes to Church Wells, pulled down right near the line of scrimmage there. Nice job defensively. Nick Jones comes up and makes the tackle on that one from the outside linebacker position. Really fires out after that uh, running back and makes a great tackle. No gain, second and 10. Clock. Mercifully running, 7.55 left in the game. 41 to three, Union over Putnam City North. This is to clinch yet another District 6A-1-2 championship for the Union Redskins. The dominant team in Oklahoma high school football in that district for sure. Whistle, of course. And a timeout is going to be called by the Panthers. We'll take a break here. 7.32 left to play. Redskins 41-3. They lead on KRMG Redskins football.
You're back. 7.26 left to play in the game. Uh, Norman, Aaron Norman, front of City North went back to pass, tried to middle the screen, and uh, just incomplete. Union made a grab for the football and they're running down the field there, but uh, they said no, C.J. Harris was trying to convince somebody. He made an interception, but they hit the ground first, so it'll be incomplete, and it sets up now third and long, third and 10 for the Panthers. They're at their 49-yard line. They'd have to get all the way to the Redskins 41 for a first down here. Aaron Norman looks over to the sideline, sends three receivers left, one to the right. In the backfield with him is Tayshawn Churchwell. As he waits for the direct snap. Goes back to pass, goes long down the right sideline, and it is incomplete, out of bounds, intended for Grant Lida. Overthrown and out of bounds. It'll be fourth down for the uh, Panthers from their own 49. We threw eight of 10 in the first half, and here in the second half, I don't uh, recall any of the deep balls being complete. And that was the first one that really didn't have a chance. Every other one really had uh, one for four yards in the second half is what they're telling us over here. Richard John, our statistician, is on top of it. Well, it is fourth down and two oh, third. Marking third off ten. a penalty. I didn't even see the, I didn't indicators, see the, the indication of it. I it's a big one, though. 15 yards. Be first down for the Panthers. From that position, speculation, late hit on the quarterback, I would guess, but I didn't see anything at all. Must have been a personal foul. A cost of 15 yards. Takes it down to the Union 36-yard line where it'll be first down and 10 now for Putnam City North. Clock running 7-15 to play 41-3 Union. Handoff goes to Churchwell, trying to go to the, around the left side. They're going to be swarmed under after a gain of about three or four yards. Nick Jones, a junior, led the way. They said the ball is loose on the ground. Coming out of there is Nick Jones with the football, but the officials have not reacted to it. Must have been down. So down by contact, no fumble. They'll stay with Putnam City North. Football will be marked at the 31-yard line. Second down and six. The Redskins are really getting after the fumbles over tonight. They are uh, really one guy's securing the tackle, and the next two are really stripping at the ball. And they've gotten a couple of them. They just haven't got the whistle. But I think that one really was going to go their way. Uh, the referees just didn't see it. Six and a half to play. Redskins with a big 41-3 leader, Putnam City North. Panthers second and five on their Union 31-yard line after that big 15-yard penalty helped the Putnam City North drive continue. Norman hands off inside and swallowed up right away as Churchwell, nothing on that one. They'd be third down now in about five. Nice defensive effort for Redskins. Mason Givens, I think, is a 95 or 94. Josh Peoples, 95, six foot sophomore, 245 pounder. Led the way there. There's more reserves in for Union on both sides of the ball now. With the clock under six minutes. On the front line, you've got Isaiah McGuire still in there, number 93, number 94, Josh, or Mason Givens, and number 95, Josh Peoples. Third and five, pass out in the left flat. Going to be close to a first down, taken there by Antoine Brown. Pulled down around the 27-yard line and see where they're going to mark it. May be a little short. But it's certainly four down territory when you're down by 38 points with five and a half minutes left to play. The clock running. It is short. It'll be fourth down and about two. Fourth and two. Ball at the 28. Need to get to the Union 26 for a first down. Snap. Pass in the left flat. Going to have the first down 25 down to the 21-yard line. Again, Antoine Brown. There's that quick pop pass out to the flat. And yep. Gets the first down yardage. First down, Panthers. That's a good play there. They've picked up a couple yards on a quick pop pass like that to the short side of the field so he can get it in the receiver's hands quickly. And I would have thought maybe the quarterback would try to scamper around back there and pick up a first down. But uh, no, they pop it out there and let number 23 pick him up. Alex Davis made the stop for Union. First down though for the Panthers at the Redskin 21 yard line. They lead by 41 to three, under five minutes to play in this game. Norman waiting for the snap, takes it. Turns, hands off to Churchwell. Peewee drops the football, picks it up, and swarmed under back at the 30-yard line. Big loss on the play. Defensively, Nick Jones leading the way for the Redskins defense as uh, Churchwell couldn't handle the football, and he had some help back there from Nick Jones. Also, Darren Bajek was in there to help make the tackle, so it'll be a big loss on the play. Mark it back to the 29-yard line. It'll be second down and 17 for the Panthers. Second and 17 for the Union 28. That's the first time tonight the Redskins have really kind of got after a fumble and didn't go their direction. Looked like they were going to pick that one up and get one back on the on the on the turnover ratios this evening. 
Clock cutting down to four minutes to play as Norman brings the Panthers up, second and 17 from the Union 28. Takes the snap, looks over to the left side, throws down the field. It's going to be intercepted at the eight yard line by Tulsa Union's Dayton Figures, the 6'2, 180 pound senior. Threw it right to him, Zach. There was nobody around him. And Dayton Figures gets the interception and uh, turnover for Union. We'll take a quick break here on KRMG. Redskins lead 41 to 3 at Putnam City North. app right now and Rick Corey might even play it on the air. News 1023 KRMG. We're back at Putnam City North. Union had six yards on their first carry to start this possession with three minutes left in the game. Keith Dorsey ran it up for six yards. He gets a handoff again now and gets a couple of yards. Tulsa Union 41, Putnam City North 3 as the Union Redskins look to clinch their 17th 6A1 district title in the last 19 years. They'll go to 9-0 and on the season. Perfect 6-0 and in the district. While uh, Putnam City North will fall to two and seven and one and five in district play. Speaking of falling, Oklahoma City Thunder losing to Oklahoma, losing to Minnesota 116 to 112. Minute 23 left at Chesapeake Arena, just away from here a bit. Handoff again. This one goes to Jalen Smith. Picks up a couple. Going to be uh, short though. On fourth down. Be fourth in uh, about a yard or two, but uh, ball at the Union's 18-yard line. I think they'll probably, I always say this at the end of the game, they'll probably keep it on the ground, and the next thing you know they throw, but they're going to go for it here. Wow. Keep the keep the chains moving. Fourth and one for their own 19-yard line. With all the reserves in there. Tyler Fisher waiting for a direct snap. Play clock counting down now to uh, six seconds, five seconds. Now Kirk just wants to play this one out a bit and call a timeout. Here he does. He'll tell timeout, minute 45 left to play. Redskins leading 41-3 at Putnam City North. We'll take another break here on KRMG. When putting a team together... High School Football, News 1023. Here we go. Well, after the timeout, Coach Frederick uh, sent his uh, sophomore punter in, Stephen Forbes, got a nice punt away. And it was fumbled by uh, D.K. Stevenson out of bounds for Putnam City North. They'll keep possession of the football, and they'll have it uh, right at midfield. They're going to take over here with a minute 33 left in the game, and I would hope at this point they just try to run a couple plays and run out the clock. Richard John says, now nah, they're going to throw it. They're going to try to put some <laughs> points on the board some first time here in the second half. They're starting line up, still in the game. Aaron Norman throws out to the left flat here, taken by Grant Lyda, his top receiver. Makes a nice move inside the 50, 45, spun down at the 41-yard line, just short of a first down. 
Clock running, minute 15 to play. 41 to three, Tulsa Union ready to wrap this one up for their ninth consecutive victory. The undefeated number one ranked team in class 6A1. Back home next weekend, guys, Friday night, senior night. Mustang the coming in. Mustang, Mustang uh, fighting Mustangs, and they have put up some fight this year, and then they've gotten some really big losses against some tough teams too, so. Churchwell uh, with the run for a first down for Putnam City North as the clock winds under a minute here. Clock is stopped while they move the chains. So it's Union for their final home game of the regular season next Friday night against Mustang on senior night. So join us there. We'll again be with the play-by-play -play because uh, right. Rick Corey has a home football game as Tulsa hosts Memphis right now. TU in great shape at uh, SMU leading 28-14. They're late in the uh, third quarter. Yeah, right? 320 left in the Scramble with the football, in loose the on the on the turf, and I think Union's got it. Pick, pick it up. They pick got it. it. Hey, we get a fumble with 38 seconds left. All right. Covering it was Adam Vermillion. Adam Vermillion, 5'10", 250-pound senior. Interesting on the turnover ratios this evening, but lots and lots of turnovers. Interceptions and fumbles this evening. Uh, on both sides of the ball, obviously there's weather, the cold weather's been a factor this evening, and uh, the Redskins have come out on the on the, the shorter end of the stick, they've given up more of them, but uh, here they get one with 38 seconds left in the game. And the clock is mercifully running here with under 30 seconds to play. Out come the Redskins, led by uh, backup quarterback, senior Tyler Fisher. They're just going to get the victory formation, take a knee, and that'll do it here. Tulsa Union improves to a perfect 9-0, number one ranking secure as they head back for their final game of the regular season next Friday at Union Tunnel Stadium against Mustang at 7 o'clock. We'll be back to wrap things up here as it's official now. The clock has gone to triple zeros. Tulsa Union 41, Putnam City North 3. You're listening to Redskins football on KRMG 740-1023. Classic Chevrolet. All right, I got three minutes to.